a legend. I'm not about to but I want to win an NCAA. At Summit, the coach who inspired generations of athletes passing away overnight after a fierce battle with Alzheimer's. This morning, a celebration of the winningest coach in college basketball history. A tough competitor, spirited pioneer, and a legendary Tennessee Lady Falls coach. Our farewell to Pat Summit this morning. Live in Times Square, this is Good Morning America. Good morning, America, and this morning we are joining all the friends, fans, and family of Pat Summit to celebrate and remember her. And Robin, you were part of that extended family. I gotta tell you, she taught me about strength, and I'm drawing upon that strength right now. We know about the 38 seasons with the Tennessee Lady Bulls, 1,098 victories, no one won more games in Division I. But Georgia Lara, the number that meant the most to her, 100% graduation rate. You went to Tennessee to play for Pat Summit, you walked away. Well, the college gotta be proud of that, and we're going to hear a tribute to her coming up yes, well. in just a little bit. But first, we do want to get to that breaking news. To the celebration of Pat Summit's life, and what a life it was. The legendary coach passing away overnight, 64 years old. Yes, she set records, becoming the winningest coach in Division I college basketball history. But she also touched so many lives, inspiring players and fans all around the world. A legendary, unstoppable force, a pioneer in women's sports, and a fierce competitor. I don't know about y'all, but I want to win an NCAA. An inspiration to millions, and also a longtime dear friend. How you doing? I'm good to see you. Named the NCAA Coach of the Year seven times. Pat Summit coached the University of Tennessee's Lady Balls to eight national championships. And with 1,098 career victories, she's won more games than any coach in Division I college basketball history, men's or women's. Quite simply, the definition of success. But before she was a college basketball legend, she was a girl from humble beginnings. And you slept in the same crib until you were six years old. That's yes. four. And I was still, I was pretty long. <laughs> With three older brothers, she learned to play basketball. Her tenacity and grit led her to play in college at UT Martin and later the Olympics, where she coached the 1984 USA women's basketball team to their first gold medal. And as much as she was feared on the court, during her 38 seasons as coach, she was loved off of it. And in 2000, she was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. But in 2011, she again made history. I've been so amazed at the response uh, to dementia and how I'm going to deal with it. Announcing that she not only was diagnosed with early onset dementia, Alzheimer's type, but decided to continue coaching and fight her disease the only way she knew how, on the court. How long do you think you can coach? Well, I said I'd probably coach for three more years and then go to the beach or hang out here with the dogs or do whatever. I work out five days a week. They say that's very, very important. Keep my mind sharp. I got a lot of puzzles. I want to challenge you oh, here no, a little bit. <laughs> a year later, she made the difficult decision to step aside as the head coach at Tennessee. It was hard. You know, because I didn't, I didn't want to, but I felt like I needed to step down. But she continued to fight launching the Pat Summit Foundation, dedicated to Alzheimer's research, while also providing services to patients and caregivers. The University of Tennessee even starting the Pat Summit Alzheimer's Clinic. Yet all the while, Pat remained the biggest Tennessee fan. What do you miss most about Just being up there. In 2012, with her son and the light of her life, Tyler, by her side, she received ESPN's Arthur Ashe Award for courage. I'm going to keep on keeping on. I promise you that. Have you had the why me moment? Uh, you know, I've had a few of those. What is it that you want people to understand about you that can help them? It, it may not be the best, the best thing, but you just got to make it what it is and just keep living your life. What I want to do is 
get other people to understand. If you have dementia, you know, don't be afraid of it. Pat battled Alzheimer's using the same strength and dignity she once used on the court to fight the disease and the stigma that comes with it. And for that reason, and many more, to sum it up, Pat Summit is and forever will be the ultimate champion. It's like once you're a lady ball, always a lady ball. Always a lady ball. I, I don't have any more orange dresses. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I did this in honor of her and, and all these wonderful things and we talked about earlier, 100% graduation rate. Boy, she just wanted the best. Yeah. For everyone. Great example. Yeah, she really was. And a great cook. She I was going to ask she you about two that. Ovens, <laughs> two ovens in her kitchen and she had both of them going at the same time and, and uh, she's just going to be missed. She's she just going to be That was a missed. lovely trip. Yeah, really what was. an impact she's had on so many lives. Thank Thanks. you. Ginger? that story. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Robin.